Canvas LMS is one of the most popular LMSs, and we've done everything we can to make the integration process simple while allowing for the greatest amount of available features. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the integration process and then show you all of the ways you can use Explain Everything Whiteboard in your Canvas classroom for a more engaging, intuitive experience than ever. There are two ways to do this integration. One is for admins who want to add Explain Everything Whiteboard to an entire account. The other is for individual instructors who want to use Explain Everything Whiteboard in a specific course they are teaching. Keep in mind that a paid Explain Everything account is necessary to be able to use Explain Everything LMS integration features. So to do this, you're going to need access to your Canvas Instructor account as well as Explain Everything Drive, which I have open here in a second tab. So what you're going to want to do to add Explain Everything to a specific course is first go to the course that you'd like to add Explain Everything to. Then you're going to go to Settings. And then you're going to go to Apps. From there, you're going to click on View App Configurations and plus app or add app. And here you're going to need some of the information that you can get in Explain Everything Drive and that's why we have it open. So first we're just going to start with the name which we can add ourselves, Explain Everything. But for the rest of this information, we're going to need to go to Explain Everything Drive. So we're going to go to right here where it says LTI and LMS integration keys. And we're going to start by copying our customer key right here and we're going to paste it. Then we're going to go to the shared secret, copy that and paste it as well. And last but not least, launch URL, copy that and paste it as well. And once we do that, we're going to click submit and our app has been added. So here we are in Canvas, um, we're on our Canvas admin account to be specific and in the second tab here I have Explain Everything Drive open and the reason for that is because we are going to be using the LTI and LMS integration keys that can be found in Explain Everything Drive in just one second. But let's go back to Canvas real quick. So. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to click where it says admin and then we are going to go to the specific admin account. From there, we're going to go to settings and once we're in settings, we are going to go to apps. Then view app configurations right here and plus app or add app. Here, we're going to leave the configuration type as manual entry because we are entering it manually. And we have to add a little bit of information here. So the first thing is the name of the app that we're adding, which is, of course, explain everything. So I'm just going to type that. And then for the rest of this information, um, the consumer key, the shared secret and the launch URL, we're going to go to explain everything drive and go to the LTI and LMS integration keys. So the first thing that we are being asked to provide here is the consumer key. So let's just copy that real quick and paste it right here. Then the shared secret, same thing, copy and paste it right here. And last but not least, the launch URL or in Explain Everything Drive, we refer to it as the configuration URL. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it right here. Let's just check, that looks pretty good. Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's just click submit. And as you can see, the app was added. What did this take us, like two minutes? It really is quite simple. Now we're done. Now that we've added Explain Everything Whiteboard to Canvas, let's move on to the different types of assignments and activities we can send to our students. You can also have students watch videos that you prepared for them in Explain Everything by assigning them to them as video assignments. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to go to my STEM course once again, and I'm going to go to Assignments. And this time, after going through, you know, Add Assignment, 
math. And this time, instead of putting it here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says submission type, right? And again, I select external tool. Then again, I have to type the name of the external tool right here, select explain everything. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the second type of assignment, which is assign video. So I'm going to um, type the name or the, the code of the project that I'm interested in. And once again, this video comes up, I'm going to click select. And basically that's it. Select once again and add whatever other details are necessary for the student to know what to do. And basically that's it. Save and publish and we're done. Let's see what receiving a video assignment in Canvas looks like from a student's perspective. When you get a video assignment in Canvas from your teacher, the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the course that you're interested in. Of course, in our case, it's the STEM course. Then we're going to go to assignments. And as we can see here, we have our homework assignment. So we are just going to open that. And as you can see, Explain Everything opens automatically. There's no need to, to transfer to a different app or go anywhere. We can just tap Start Assignment and then watch the video that our teacher has prepared for us by tapping Play. Okay, so for homework, what I would like... And once we're done, all we have to do is upload a file to let our teacher know that we answered the questions or whatever we were asked to do. And then we would just tap submit assignment and we are done. Thanks to your Explain Everything whiteboard and Canvas integration, your students will be able to watch instructional videos you've created in Explain Everything whiteboard without leaving Canvas LMS. It's really quite simple to do, so let's take a look. So I'm going to start by going to the course that I'm interested in. In this case, it will be the STEM course. And I'm just going to click right there. And then I'm going to go to Assignments. From Assignments, I'm going to go to Add Assignment. Here, I'll give my assignment a name. This is a short explainer video telling my students what their homework is. So that's what I'm going to title it as. From here, I'm going to go to Tools and then to Apps. Once I get to Apps, I select Explain Everything. And here I can search for my project by name or by code. As you can see, it's a short little video. I'm just going to click Embed, give it a second, and there it is. All I have to do now is, well, fill in these other fields if, uh, if you need or however you need. And that's about it. All I have to do now is click Save and Publish. And my assignment has been published and can be watched by students, like I'll show you in just one second. Okay, so for homework, Easy, right? Now, let's check out how this all looks from a student's perspective. From a student's perspective, getting a web video link looks pretty much the same as the other um, video assignment that we looked at a second ago. And let me just show you what I mean by that. So let's get on our course. And then from courses, we're going to go to assignments. And the assignment uh, that we have this time is really just to watch the video. There's no um, other stuff connected to that. There's nothing else that we need to do. So I'm just going to tap black hole math. And as you can see here, explain everything is already loading. You don't need to exit a canvas. You don't need to go anywhere in order to watch this video. So let me just tap play and show you how that works. Okay, so for homework, what I would like... As you can see, that's all there is to it. Super simple. Being able to collaborate on a group project together in real time is one of the greatest features of Explain Everything Whiteboard. And as such, it is of course available as part of our integration with Canvas LMS. Starting a collaborative session in Explain Everything is really easy. So what we have to do is first, of course, navigate to the course that we want to start the session in and then go down to where it says Explain Everything. And once we click that, 
we are transported right here and we can choose start new session. And when we click start new session, we have two different options to choose from. We can choose to create a brand new project, so completely start from scratch, or we can choose to make a copy of an existing project that we already have on our explain drive and edit that copy. Keep in mind that you will still have the original, so it, it really is just a copy. You don't have to worry about, you know, losing your project forever or having it changed forever. But first, let me just walk you through creating a new project. So you can do that right here. This project is now, um, is now active. If you click the little pen, you can change the name of the project if you want to. And also you can join this session if you want to join with your students. Close it. And when you decide that you want, uh, when you decide that you want the session to end, all you have to do is click stop session. As I said, only one session can be active at the same time. So let's check out that second option and click start new session and copy existing project. So what we're going to do is find a project that we had prepared before, kind of like, I guess, a template in a way, and we are going to use it for this assignment. So we have this um, Leonardo da Vinci mind map right here that we can transform into a collaborative project for our students. And all we have to do right now is, um, yeah, join the session if we want to, or we could let it go on without us. All we have to do to join it is click join session. We can keep our microphone on, keep our microphone off. It's really up to you. I'm going to turn mine off. And if you want to let your students know that there is a session in progress that they're invited to, all you have to do is copy the link to the project. And then after that, perhaps go to announcements and create an announcement letting your students know that there is a project that you would like them to contribute to. So you could just say, please join me here and post the, um, the link to the project. Oh, maybe we'll just put the project code here as well. And your students will get the announcement that they are to join you for this session. It will appear in their course stream. And once they get there, they'll be able to edit the project that you see right here. Um, you, of course, as the owner of this project, can, you know, change the, uh, the access permissions. You can set a custom scenario to give them access to only specific tools or just go with open collaboration where it's a free for all and everybody adds and, uh, and writes whatever they want. It's really up to you. And once again, when you're done, all you have to do is go down to explain everything right here and just click stop session and the session will be over for everyone. And that's all there is to it. Now, let's take a quick look at how things look from a student's perspective. So when you find out that your teacher wants you to join them for a live whiteboarding session, um, well, there are two ways that you could find out actually. One of them is, as you can see here, we have this little announcement that says, please join me here to draw up a mind map and there's the link. But another thing that you could do is you could simply go directly to explain everything and the teacher's invitation shows up here as well. So you can see that there is a live session being organized for your course and you're being invited to join. So all you have to do is tap join session And this session will open in the Explain Everything app on your device, as it is right now. And as you can see, once you're in, it's just me and the teacher right now, but as you can see, once you're in, you can access all of the tools, add your own input, anything that you need to do. And it really is as simple as that. As an instructor, you can create project activity assignments in your courses and send them to your students. Students of a course can complete the assignment and then submit it to the instructor in their course for grading. Of course, you can use Canvas's own speed grader for that. 
So the project activity that we are going to create for our students is basically a template that we've prepared for them that we want them to add their own video to. So once again, we're going to go to this STEM course right here. And from there, we're going to go to assignments. And from assignments, we are going to go to, of course, add assignment. And um, our assignment should probably have a name. So I'll just write, make your own video. And we're just going to scroll down to where it says submission type. Here, it's important that we select external tool because explain everything is an external tool. And uh, we're going to have to type the name of our external tool. So let's just do that right now. Explain everything dot com and click find and explain everything pops up right here. So we're just going to select it. And now, as you can see, we can choose from several different assignment types. We don't want them to just watch a video. We want them to record a video. So I'm going to go here and um, click assign project template. And what was the name of that project template again? Oh, yes. Video explanation. So I'm just going to type maybe explanation in here and it pops up. So I'm just going to click select. And then select again and that's basically all you have to do i'm going to scroll down to the bottom of course if you want and if you need you can fill in all of these other details but you know that's not what i'm here to to teach you about today so i'm just going to click save and publish and our assignment has now been published and all of our students can use the template that we have prepared for them and create their own video based on it Let's see how completing a project activity looks from a student's perspective. So to complete a video assignment that your teacher created and explained everything and then shared via Canvas, first you're going to have to get into the course and then go to the course stream. There are a few assignments right here. The one that interests us at this time is this make your own video one. So we're going to tap that. And as you can see, explain everything is already opening here. When you tap open project, you will be transported to explain everything. And you basically get access to this template that your teacher prepared for you. Just gonna tap start. You're going to do all of the different things that are uh, required here so insert your own video maybe insert some images visuals I don't know documents etc and when you're done all you're going to do is you are going to tap submit which is right here and you're going to go back to canvas and that is all there is to it and that's how to use explain everything in canvas together hope that helped